What if I intentionally go for a Zigzagoon in order to abuse pickup in order to get free items like potions and berries? Uh, is that fair? Does that count? Bomb! What? If I get the ability pick up on a Pokemon from the Pokewalker, am I allowed to take the items that they give me in the game? It's still items technically acquired through the Pokewalker. Eh, fine, I guess that counts. Yeah. Might have to keep our eye open for that. But in the meantime, let's head back into the winner's path. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see here, I have uh, our Bronzor that we caught earlier, who is taking a walk in here. I kind of figured I'm not going to use two Pokemon of the exact same typing, and Beldum was my preference to raise. So um, I decided to start using the Beldum and put the um, Bronze War back in here, and lo and behold, by doing that, and um, I, I specifically said the same environment to go check, because there's three other Pokemon we have not gotten out of the Winner's Path yet. One of which I think is very, uh, very cool, that um, self-destructing Munchlax. I want to make sure I get my hands on that at one point. This is the same day, by the way, that I'm recording the uh, first part that we've done. For some reason, my steps are staying the same, and I did, I want to show you this, update my time to be accurate on my DS when I sent in Bronzor. So the time is now correct on my Pokewalker um, of a proper countdown time. So this is interesting. So now what this means is I am actually able to exploit the time if I wanted to. Like sending my Pokemon back into my game and then back and forth. And while I do that, I keep updating the time. So it's like maxing it out each time. And the day never actually rolls over because the day needs to roll over on the Pokewalker for it to turn my step counter to zero and say that I'm still on the same day. I don't want to do that. Um, I probably won't even need to, by the way. It's it's not that hard to get it up this high. Um, and 8,000 is actually as high as it needs to go on this, regardless. What I want to test here, that's the interesting thing, is when I put him back into the Winner's Path, is it the same Winner's Path as before, like based on, is the day determinant? Because then I'm going to find Bronze Ore, Dusk Gold, Beldum. I hope that's not the case, and I can keep sending him back and forth if need be, take advantage of the fact that I've already walked as far as I need to each day in order to see more Pokemon, and hopefully we will see other things. Uh, now it's already giving us something. It's Magikarp, it's different, but it already didn't give me the chance to find something else. So um, it, it's possible that I'm, like there's a second step counter now that's tracking and it's actually harder to tell when my step counter really ends, but uh, regardless, I want to test this out while we're here. I want to attack. Bronze or attacked. Magikarp attacked. So far, nothing's tried fleeing on me. Perfect. Got a critical hit. Put him down to one. Let's catch a Magikarp. By the way, these Magikarps are actually really good, and I'm considering raising one. Come on, come on now. There we go. This thing can't really make a lot of sounds. It's probably very quiet too, by the way. I have the sound as low as it goes, just so it's not annoying me. But anyway, the Magikarps have the ability Bounce, um, or rather the move Bounce, which is great because that means that Gyarados has a stab move. And uh, he doesn't, well, a stab flying move, and it's pretty hard to get a stab flying move on a Gyarados. He just generally doesn't really get many of those. I still want to try this, even though I could be just wasting my radar points. I wonder if there's some way that it would tell me how far I've walked in this session. No, it, it says step zero. I wonder what that means. So hold on, steps, total, total days zero, steps zero. Because we can see down here, steps, is that's the steps, and it's obviously, that's my current step counter. At least I would think that's my total step counter. Anyway, I thought when I put it back in, I was like, okay, hold on. Am I already over my limits? If not, I'm gonna have to keep track of what number is down here. <laughs> uh, Cause I've been walking with it for a while now, a couple hours since I, I filmed for that previous segment. So I know for a fact, if that's my current segment steps, it's not zero. There's no way it's not zero. In fact, I could even like do this for a minute and watch that it will probably change from what it ended in eight. Yeah, to a nine, seven, seven, one, seven, two, seven, three. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really easy to exploit. I'm not going to be tempted by that either. I'm actually wearing this and walking around with it, by the way. I'm, I'm trying to do this as legitimately as I possibly can. And you saw there that the regular steps did not increase. So maybe it was just a fluke that we ran into a Magikarp first. Let's try the Poker Radar again. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Come on. 
Don't go Magikarp. Dang it, it's Magikarp again. Um, <sighs> shoot. I'm gonna try one more time, see if I can get something else. If not, I got a feeling this really isn't gonna work. Here we go, Poke Radar, one more time. Okay, found something. I just need... Oh, no. I just need uh, at least two... Ah, no. I think it's just Magikarps. So... Oh, no, 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 Horsey! Well, hold on. No, so you can get... I'm very confused now. I'm very confused. <laughs> okay, so um, Horsey is um, another option, um, and it is a Group B Pokemon. So, you know, what could possibly be happening here is because when you have a chance to get Munchlax, he's very, very rare. Maybe we actually have the Munchlax course right now. Come on, critical hit. Oh, no. I really want this Horsey. This would be great for a team. So let's attack one more time. Hopefully this doesn't crit. Horsey evaded and hits us. It's fine. I'm going to try one more attack because if it attack, if we attack, it can't flee. Evaded hits us. I don't want to risk this anymore. So we're going to catch. Come on. Pops out, almost had it, and Horsey fled. Though, that's still making me feel better. Now, we only have 95 more watts to play with. That's not a lot. Um, I mean, you don't gain these very quickly. You get, um, I believe, one watt per 20 steps, I think, or something like that. And uh, people have said that that kind of equates to how many calories you've burned, sort of. So you're kind of spending watts, obviously, the reference to, like, uh, electricity and energy in terms of um, energy for the game itself. All right, there's one. Please don't give me another Magikarp. Dang it. All right, well, whatever it's worth, I caught that Magikarp. Let's try this again. Please don't keep giving me Magikarps. Okay, good, good. Good, good. Keep going. Oh, good. Okay, that could be a rare or it could still be a horsey. Horsey. Okay, still, we got another chance. This is good. Um, so by the way, it is still worth trying to catch multiples of some of these Pokemon, even though their stats are all identical. The natures are different, um, so you never know if you're going to get something really great or not. Critical hit, um, should, mm, it did pop out on two last time, so I'm going to try and hit it again. It evaded. Come on, I have to hit you again. Oh my god! This horsey! We're going to try and catch it again at two. Ooh. 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 There we go. Okay, good. So that horsey, I think, is also holding a dragon scale, so could eventually become a Kingdra. Now, you can see down there I have three Pokemon captured. If I do want um, a third out here, I will have to get rid of one of them. Um, let me see. So hold on. Uh, when I put the Pokemon back in here, um, uh, when I put uh, Bronzor back in here, I was at about a little over 8,000. And to first see Horsey, you need to be over 3,000. And for the difference in uh, steps that we see in here, it's not possible. So I have a feeling you really can trick this thing and just go multiple days and just keep going over and over and over again. And since we're not seeing Beldum, I got a feeling that Munchlax really is out here right now. And I want him. Don't dang it. Probably a Horsey. No, it's a Magikarp. Well, that really sucks. Oh, shoot, I had two critical hits and it killed it immediately. It doesn't matter. Now, I have no way to know if any of these are actually better. Good. Come on, keep going. Okay. Good, 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 good. Please be the Munchlax. It's another Horsey. It's fine. You know, maybe I could swap this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd rather have Horsey or Gyarados, but luckily we were able to get one Horsey, so... That's, that's good enough for me. I at least have something, because when we start games like this this early, um, especially since all these Pokemon are really being captured at super low levels, I need to make sure that we are um, able to raise them early on. So one of the most important things in this Pokewalker challenge is to get a bunch of Pokemon early and then start adventuring, because I can't just add like a level five Pokemon to my team right before like the seventh gym badge, you know, like what am I supposed to do? All right, so I'm gonna say, let's swap out this Magikarp with a uh, second Horsey. I still think we should spend the rest of our Watts on this because I am pretty confident it's Munchlax because uh, we were seeing Beldum a lot more frequently. Good. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Please be three. Okay, uh, a, a group A can still appear out of two. Oh my God. That's it, that's it. 
Okay, three is definitely the group A. It's Beldum! Okay, so it does randomly roll like this. That's a shame! Um, but still, it's a, it's a, it's a Beldum. It's nice to see that um, even those are that rare. Um, I'm still gonna try and go for another one. I'm not obviously like gonna double up anything on my team though. It's still worth the attempt. Critical hit puts him at one. Awesome. Well, as good as it gets. Well, that does show me that, uh, yes, it works. However, Munchlax is not out today, but this is the only way to tell. I have to keep going in here, uh, walking enough to get to see what the group A is, and then try to catch the group A. This was the first horsey we captured, and this was the second, um, so I guess I'll t get rid of the second one we caught so that we have the, the original is the one that we're hanging on to. Um, so this is interesting. This actually may change things because now I know how I can actually mess with this with the step counter, put something back in, put it back out, um, and that can help him manipulate and take advantage of how many times I want to roll to get more um, attempts in. But now that I know that that is not much likes in there, I have 45 watts left. That is not a lot. And uh, whew, I got a lot more walking to do. See you guys. And a lot of walking is right. Granted, I now know a lot more about how this thing works and how that we can take advantage of the step counter, uh, as well as uh, some hindrances we are gonna have for trying to exploit and try and get some rare Pokemon out of certain areas. Yes, the step counter will stay the same number throughout the entire day. You can cheat and change the time on your DS to retain how many steps are in one day, but granted, it's not that hard to actually just get up to the requirements, especially if you put the right type Pokemon in the right route. So it's not that big of a deal. But I was able to, um, while we had our step counter at the 10,000 that we had before, swap the Pokemon out, send them right back into the winner's path and check again. The downside is I am still gonna have to go walking out anyway, because I have to build up Watts to even make attempts to try and use the uh, dousing machine and the Poker radar in order to find new items and Pokemon taking advantage of the step. So the step counter doesn't really matter, you have to walk anyway. So regardless, that didn't help me too much, but uh, still for the rest of the day, I was still trying to swap these things. And it, obviously the very last thing you wanna do uh, before you go to bed really is, you know, before the thing swaps over, is that's when you wanna switch for stuff. And that's really when I can't film. And of course, this happens when I can't film. Our little buddy Munchlax finally showed up. So I'm just gonna go straight in here and attack. Um, he attacks right back, I attack again, and crit him, meaning that he is perfectly set up for a nice, easy, comfy catch. And uh, lucky for us, this wasn't that bad. It just showed up at a very, very inopportune time for me. And uh, you know, Whatever. I was still at least able to take a quick clip on my phone just to show that we did manage to catch him on here. But hey, that's awesome! We caught ourselves a Munchlax! Let's take a look at him. And everybody else too! All those other Pokemon! It's not like I don't care about them! And we're back from our journeys together, running around in this uh, lovely little Pokewalker thing. As you can see, Beldum, and basically just Beldum, had managed to get us up to Violet City. Um, as can be expected, but Beldum is a very, very good Pokemon to start with. And now, we can take a look at our brand new friends, who are all set up in the box. So once again, I was able to level up our Pokemon that I kind of want to use on our team just a little bit, take their held items, of course, and hoard them all for myself, because that's, once again, our only way to get any items. But let's just run through everybody so we can make a fair comparison of them, because I didn't actually take a look at our natures. Um, so we've got uh, Bronzor. This is the one that we put in the Pokewalker the one time earlier this episode. Uh, it's not great, and our other one is better. Not great, but it's better. Um, I'm it, The fact that it's heightened special defense is still lower than its regular defense is not good. Um, we got a, we got a Metagross cooking, we're fine. All right, Magikarp, I'm very excited about this. A Bounce Gyarados sounds really good. So, um, Swift Stone boosted in the rain, a lowered physical attack and heightened special defense is not good. And this one, I've actually been walking in the Pokewalker a little bit after this, and uh, yeah. That's a little bit better. Let's not mess with a Gyarados' attack stat. There's some things you just don't mess with. You just don't mess with the Gyarados' attack stat. Kind of sucks that Bounce only has five PP. Um, if we can land that super rare PP up, we could get one more. Uh, it's probably not even worth it, but still. 
um, we at least have a Gyarados on the way. That's going to be really powerful. Um, so that sounds really good. And really, I'm just leveling this up with the Poke Walker. I'm really, like, there's literally like no effort on me on my end going into this. It's just who happens to be in my Poke Walker. So I don't have to worry about it and missing out on a move because Magikarp's not going to learn anything. We just need to make sure we don't skip it at level 20. All right, so Horsey, uh, that choice scarf that our Cyndaquil found is on our Horsey. I think this is a great use of this. Um, this Horsey has heightened special attack and lowered special defense, so that's actually pretty good. Um, and Sniper increases critical hit moves, very nice. Our other Horsey that I passed over um, was a Swift Swim one. Um, lowered physical attack, heightened special defense, it's just not as exciting. I kinda think this one's a little more mean, and I like mean, especially in a cute little seahorse. Um, now, we already saw Duskull, we did not catch another Duskull this time. Um, however, we did get another Beldum, so another comparison to the Beldum we have right now. I believe Beldum is actually in my party. So let's just take a look at this. So it is a relaxed nature. Uh, mm -mm. Isn't that better than our other Beldum? Isn't that better? Hold on. Is that better? Because I think I was even saying that last time. There we go, we're gonna do it like this because we have brains. All right, so this is the one that we just got and this is the one we've been raising. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, um, guys, that other Beldum might be better. Like that other, I mean, defense is really gonna matter in this game because we can't like lose the HP, but the speed is gonna matter too, I mean, that is tough, because, I mean, if we're going first, we're not even taking the hit that we would more than likely one-shot and destroy things with as Metagross. That's... I don't know. I mean, I don't worry about, like, raising it another six levels. That's not a big deal, especially with a Pokewalker. It's a it's a cinch making things go up one level. Um, but... Oh. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna... Uh, Maybe for the time being, I might put them both on my team. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird having two Metagross, but hey, there's nothing wrong with having two Metagross, right? Right, right? And I just noticed the star of the show that we got, like, that I was filming like so late at night, I couldn't even like speak. Um, we found a Munchlax. Now, I did take away the um, hold item from the Munchlax, the leftovers, and I gave that to my Bellum. He might not be holding it at the moment, but I'm giving it to the Bellum because, like, a, a steel type Pokemon with leftovers, that's just good. And especially when, you know, we can't really heal and a lower speed would be fine with the left. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to have you guys' input on that. I'll probably just like raise two for the time being and we'll see which one we think is better later. Or maybe, maybe cut the Magikarp and instead have two Metagross. You know, Cause if I'm gonna cut a party member, it's hard to say like, cause right now in my head, I'm thinking um, Metagross, Dragonite, Raichu, um, Snorlax, Kingdra, and Gyarados. And that, if anything, Gyarados could probably switch in my my head um, up for a final slot for that. But we're also obviously gonna be catching Pokemon for HMs specifically later. So I'm not really thinking about that. This is just our main party. Enough Yavern. Let's take a look at Munchlax here. So Munchlax has a sassy nature. Um, that, oh, yummy. Oh, yeah. oh, pick up. Oh, 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 yes. Oh my God, I thought I would have to get a Zigzagoon for this. I didn't realize Munchlax was gonna have this. That is outstanding. That is so freaking good. Now, I have been raising it too. I, I guess I, I didn't take the leftovers away until I put it in here, so I didn't realize it had pickup. That is so, so good. Um, Yeah, so self-destruct, it's even slower, but that shouldn't matter. I think self-destruct has speed priority too. So if I'm really desperate, I just wanna blow up. That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, that is a really big deal. A really big deal. Um, I'm not sure like what we're gonna end up doing now for our team, because it's it's weird, like half of our team has already come from this particular area, the winner's path. And we probably even gonna have like um maybe that fourth member, uh, be it the Gyarados or a second Metagross. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of the Poka Walker Challenge. Oh, yeah.